Hello everyone and welcome to EDCN 862 Designing Technology-Based Curriculum. My name is Panos Lachopoulos and I am one of the facilitators of this fully online unit. I would like to take you through a quick tour of the way we set up ILEARN, your study uh, support mechanism, in order to have the most enjoyable learning experience with us. First of all, once you are into our unit, into ILEARN, please spend some time to read the introductory paragraph which outlines how iLearn will be used to support teaching and learning. After that, I would please ask you to proceed by downloading and reading the EDCN 862 unit outline which has clear assessment criteria, the learning outcomes, all the assessments, the deadlines, everything should be in this document. Study it carefully, take any notes, any questions, and please use this particular forum, the Problems Forum, to post any questions and we will make sure we reply. If your question is of, of a private nature and you don't want it to share it openly with the rest of the group, feel free to email us. However, the Problems Forum, it will be the mechanism where the tutors will be looking there on a regular basis, replying, but also you can support each other. So one of you might have a question, another one might have the answer. So using the Problems Forum will help us sort it out. So you can click on the Problems Forum and then please click Add New Discussion Topic and then raise there your questions. Once you have done that, perhaps you want to have a look into the e-reserve catalog. So click on the e-reserve catalog and then key in our unit uh, code, the EDCN862 and then click go and all the important books, papers, articles they should be there for you to view or save and have a look. Now going back to our main area this is the assessment activities well there are a number of activities and assessments we're going to be doing together the most important thing you need to remember is that this is a fully online unit and collaboration and online collaboration is vital. So the more you put into the online discussions, the more you're going to take out in terms of mark, but most importantly, about your own learning. So the very first thing you have to remember is that we have a number of online discussion fora ready for you under each of the topics. And each of them requests and requires your participation. And at the end of the day, you will all receive up to 10% of the mark for this kind of effort. Different activities we have, there is a critique of articles, which you will have to do by the 9th of April 2014. You can submit it over here. There is a proposal plan and there is a proposal itself. So the overall philosophy of this online unit is for you to start thinking about curriculum design and how we can best integrate technologies as professionals no matter what profession we are, higher education, secondary education, primary education, into the vet sector, into uh, the industry, regardless of your context, you will need to be capable at the end of this unit to make informed decisions about which technologies and why they should be integrated. So to support you with this very, if you want, hands-on decision that you will have to make later in your life or even now in your own professional practice, you will need to work through a process of being able to read critically about technology. You should be able to draft quick proposals that you can present to your stakeholders, your colleagues, whoever is going to be the person who's going to make the decision. And at the end of the day, you should be able to support for, with the, the integration. This unit is designed to take you up to the level where a proposal plan clearly articulating the needs, the learning outcomes, the importance of the technology is there so you can confidently go ahead and talk to people about it. So this is the way they're going to do it. A critique, a proposal plan and an actual proposal for a technology. Read through the different examples that we have here and please let us know if there are any issues. Now, during week one, we have the introduction. You can see here we have all our own information. Very important for you to do the first part of activity, which is introducing yourselves. So please, once you've read about what we wrote over here, 
click on learning activity one introducing yourselves read carefully the instructions and then contribute to the new discussion topic it's very important that we know who we are we are all at a distance it's good to put a community feeling at the beginning in our group so once we have so sorted out that, so please, during week one, spend the time to explore all this information. We're going to continue over weeks two to four, that's from the 10th to the 28th of March, exploring the first topic, which is Foundations of ICT. Now, for each of the topics that we have in this unit, there is a quick overview. There is an element of key responsibilities. This is actually the minimum we expect you to do for this particular topic. And then you have a series of tools. The content is not coming in the form of PowerPoints, but in the form of small compiled ebooks. So each of the topics you can click has a little ebook. There is a table of contents which you can click and you can go through. So your role is to study that. You can study it either online or you can print part of the chapter or part of the whole book. However, any kind of online video and audio that exists in the books won't be printable, so please make sure that if you make a copy, at the same time you are also uh, having your computers or your laptops on so you can watch any of the videos. So study the different start things and then we have the different uh, activities. So AT1, learning activity 2, is going to start and then we really want to to make sure that you enjoy this experience. So as we go, we will ask you to take uh, the opportunity to provide us with ongoing feedback. So at the end of, the, of each of the topics, there is a small, fully online, fully anonymous, it's not really associated with any of your matriculation numbers or your registration numbers as a student, it's fully anonymous, but it is an opportunity for you to tell us a couple of things about how did you feel, what did actually work, what were the issues, about studying the topic, so we can carry it forward to the next uh, topic and so on. So in a way, it's an opportunity for you to provide us constant feedback and for us to listen uh, and, and react uh, before things, for example, start going wrong. Similar thing, topic two, between weeks five, six, and seven, your responsibilities, your book, another activity, your feedback. Then. We have obviously our break around Easter time from the 14th to the 25th. It's not expected you will be online and contributing, although feel free to catch up so the unit will be fully operational, open, go there, read tutorials, read any of the uh, books or any of the activities. And uh, if you want to contribute, feel free, but there is no formal expectation. What it is actually expected is for everybody to be back on the 28th of April online so we can continue our topic too. And then our last topic, implementing the digital curriculum, is going to be over weeks 8 to 11. This is the area where we're going to have uh, support from the tutors in particular about putting your implementation design there. There is an activity, there is another activity and your experience. In parallel, we have created what we call a cafe or a corridor for you where you could use it to share any information between yourselves. Uh, for example, the corridor can be used to talk about any books that you read, you found interested, anything else. Resources, please use it. The previous group that made use of it found it one of the best things. If you find a new website, a new resource, something, just pop it there, like put it over there as a quick um, activity for example just write a message to say hi guys i just read this particular book makes a lot of sense it can be very good or if you come from your discipline hi guys i'm a medical educator i just came across this particular simulation tool that can be used in hospitals have a look or this is what we use in my school to support uh, literacy or maths so make this a rich purposeful uh, repository of information for you now you will notice that the e-reserve appears also here at the bottom. This is a pilot at the moment. It's a little tool that helps you to get direct access to the readings. So please click over there and, uh, and see if we can actually access the reading. So the e-reserve can be accessed either from this link or through the e-reserve uh, link that we have over here on the e-reserve link. Now, final point, 
as part of this online unit we will be hosting a couple of live events live events means that although we're going to be fully online you should be that almost in a skype type uh, conference now to support you with that all the activities of these live events is going to be under the webinar room so the webinar room is a tool called blackboard collaborate so if everything goes okay on the agreed date and time you should be able to click on the webinar room and then uh, you should be able to see a tool where you can activate yourselves if this is not the case please do let me know and i will support you however uh, we expect you to be online for the very first one if you can on the 5th of uh, March, that's this Wednesday at 5 o'clock, where we're going to introduce formally ourselves and we will uh, talk through the guideline and any of the outstanding questions. So that's all from me. Welcome again to the online unit. Use the problems forum to ask any questions about what you just heard or about what you read in the guidelines and we will take it from there. Enjoy the session, guys.